whether working up in the attic, down in the crawl space, or outside in the garden. Sometimes you have to be on your knees, and that's where a product like this comes in handy. Thanks to the Home Depot Seeds program, we're looking at the Bucket Boss knee pad. It's molded, lightweight, wraps around your knee, and uses hook and loop straps for a better fit. When separated, the front is a soft molded texture, so it's not the hard shell that you might see in some other knee pads. The back side has two hook and loop Velcro straps. There's a little hook on here so that you can maybe hang it from a, a pegboard. Very soft, very pliable. Let's try it on and see how it fits because for me, knee pads need to do several things. One, they need to fit. They need to be comfortable so that when you're moving around in them, they don't get in the way. And they need to protect your knees. In opening the strap, first thing I notice is that the hoop and loop is just small little squares. So you don't have a big strip of the material that you attach to. The advantage of that is that when you go to pull on it to release, it doesn't take that much effort. Putting them on, is a matter of pulling the straps off, putting it on over your knee, wrapping the strap around, catching the opening there, pulling back, you do the same thing with the bottom one. And you got a strap above the knee, one below the knee. How tight do you put them on? Well, not so tight that they cut off your blood flow. By the way, there are no instructions with how to use this. I've had this one, I've walked around with it a little bit. You may notice it's a little lower. It seems to be writing down. Um, obviously what you want to protect is the knee area itself. So that's about here. So anything above is really a waste. Uh, below is nice because it also just protects your shin a little bit. So I've placed this one a little bit tighter. Uh, let's see if I show you the back. So it's about halfway across. Um, the one that's a little looser it's not halfway across, it's a little less, maybe a third of the way. Um, so you're gonna have to find what works for you. Because again, if it's too tight, it's gonna be too constricting, but you also don't want it to be writing down on you because that kind of makes it useless. After spending some time on my knees trying to clean this dehumidifier, here are the positions of the pad. This is the tighter one. Here's my knee, it has slipped down. I did tighten this one after a while because it was slipping knees here. It's in a better position. As you see, it does protect. It feels quite comfortable. Again, this one is shifted down, so it needs to come back up. And that's the problem I've always discovered with these, even the cheap ones, uh, that they just slide down. Maybe that's just par for the course because, you know, they're strapped to your leg, but they're not really holding on to your, your pants. It's not like they button in or Velcro to something on your pants. So as you move around, they tend to shift and you can only make them so tight. Otherwise you're gonna start constricting blood flow and they're just gonna get uncomfortable for you. So we'll, we'll do some more of this cleaning and see how the pads hold up. So after spending some time on my knees fixing, cleaning my dehumidifier, I can tell you a couple things about these pads. One, they're comfortable on the knee when you're bearing weight. That's a given. Two, what's also a given is that, here's my knee, they slide. They will eventually slide no matter how tight you put this 
And you can only put this so tight because at some point it just, it hurts from being too tight. Like this one's slightly uncomfortable. And even with that, these still slide down. So if you're gonna be on your knees and you're not moving around a lot, and by that I mean walking around to different locations, then these will probably suffice. So for example, in a crawl space, I think these would work great because you just, you're always gonna be on your knees crawling around. If you're on a work site or a project that requires you to be on your knees, get up, walk around, come back, be on your knees again, then these are going to slip down on you. Uh, no two ways about it. So I can't say they're my favorite. My wife actually just made homemade ones. And, you know, it's the same issues. They're great when your knee's in them and you're on your knee. And, and actually, they're very good at abrasion. You can see here, they don't tear up. But... Uh, other than being comfortable on your knee pad, they're all not all that great if they can't stay over your knee pad as you have to go around and do things. So, so for that, I'd say they're okay. Just don't expect them to stay on your knee if you have to do any kind of getting around your project site. If you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching.